Welcome back, adventurers, to the adventures of Emperor Kun of Great Flanders. That's right, we are an emperor now. Who would have thought that? Well, I had my ambitions, but this is more than, yeah, most people would think possible for a lowly ruler of Flanders. But look at us now, and look at our family, we're doing great. Yes, I am getting older, and my sons, uh, well, some of them are getting into trouble, but hey, that's life. At least now, it's time to celebrate. So, let us celebrate this... This event that I became... Um, emperor. A feast, that's what I want. That's what we need. Okay, where shall we hold the feast? Um, in Brugge, because that's our capital, right? We don't need to travel because this is where we are. Um, intent recreation, yes. Uh, do we have an honorary guest? Myself. And of course, it goes all out for the Emperor. Yeah. The servants run across the hall, bringing the final decorations. Some of the guests are yet to arrive, and I indulge myself with a delicious drink by the fire. Oh, I seem to have spotted some fresh quail already. We have a lovely time ahead of us. Ah, this is a prestigious occasion. And I shall make the most of it. Ah, oh, we paused. My daughter Matilda gave birth to a daughter. Frida. Okay. Okay. And uh, Napon Laurels. My grandson Caudidir gets become impressed with the way the court operates, never ceasing to live on, constantly bustling with activity. It seems that this encouraged him to become a more laid-back person, seeing that all the concerns are resolved without effort on his part. He needs not worry about the minutia. Uh, he's Ibison, right? Yeah. Um... Or a sign of softness and feebleness. Hmm, yeah. He grows more disengaged. Stewardship decreased by one, learning decreased by one. That's not a good boy. Not a good boy. Highway and my way. And this is his big brother. Otto. Jarl of Piedmonte. Uh, because uh, their father died very young and was slain in battle. Overseeing children can be a taxing pastime, especially when they begin to push against the boundaries established by adults. In that regard, your auto is not that much different, and more and more of his headstrong tendencies become apparent. Why do they remind me of this just as I am starting a feast? I better be willful than weak-minded, that is for sure. We discuss this subject together. Um, time to manage this. No, we can discuss this together. And he's my lesson. Good boy, much better than your brother. Your lazy brother. Um, greetings, Emperor Kuhn of Great Flanders. I have studied the Dutch language for many moons. I have personally penned this missive using the Dutch script, a letter of friendship from a speaker of high German. Duke Zigo of Tyrol. That's impressive. Maybe you should convert. Uh, impressive. Send my regards. And my companion is pregnant. Interesting. And your victims have been called by either the bonus of the Sudrea. Okay. Okay, who is he fighting? He is fighting Yamtalan, but they're the same. 
spending uh, this one probably yeah because they are Christians okay which reminds me um, I started this preference game with Jarl Friedrich right and I will certainly uh, become his friend but he is also in danger because Denmark is encroaching and uh, he's doing okay for now but some of his counties are occupied I think we should um, make an alliance and then after the war invite him to become our vassal because we want uh, what was it 12 counties in northern in, in Scandinavia basically so that we can get the, the perk to, uh, to 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 use our boats on rivers not only on seas which is it's such nonsense that we can't already do this but anyway uh, you have a daughter theory she is strong that is good let us arrange a marriage with um Van Schalk one of my sons who do we have I have a lot of grandsons Zeger yeah why don't you get out of the way Zeger I guess because the rest doesn't give us an alliance they're grandsons okay Zeger you are handsome and intelligent you're going to marry Thury. How about that? And here we have Countess Eleanor. An elderly retainer of the family was recently honorably retired to his own small estate. So as courtesy to his masters, he provided token gifts to everyone, including my ward, Countess Eleanor. Ah, oh. uh, rule of doctor. Rule of the fox of Tortona. Okay. Um, and you know, I accepted it, but not without remarking that they hope this one is going to be the one, the, is going to be only the first present. When I asked her about it later, she revealed that it did not suit their personal taste, so they tried to secure a compensation. Well done, Avarice is eternal. That's fine. Uh, alliance formed with Jarl Friedrich at the Brut of Juland. Welcome to the fold. Uh, and he immediately calls us in as I expected. Um, I will accept this because, yes, your Ivar. I think at one point we used to be allies. But um, anyway, King Knut of Denmark, we're certainly not allies with him, um, is encroaching on Yuland and trying to take more and more of his land. Kind of makes sense, but uh, we don't want that to happen. So we'll accept this. And war waits for no man. Uh, I can manage things from here. I mean, I don't need to lead these armies. I have my people for it. I am the emperor. Right? And my realm is not in danger. So I can give... Um, orders from the capital now our military is uh, almost back at full force at least my men at arms are so let us add a rally point somewhere here and see what it has to say hmm, raise local army ah Jarl Roland that's another thing I want to take care of I don't think he should be the marshal anymore. Look at him. He's a drunkard. I mean, yes, you are my friend, but your health is ailing. And you are a drunkard. This is not good. So, yeah. Um, you shall be replaced by Alvin, my son, who needs some experience. And who is also pretty awesome, despite only having tough soldier. He has 26 prowess, so uh, yeah, he, he can do this job. And he's bigger too. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, um, that means I, I want to assign 
Are you really the best commander for this? Hmm, I guess. And this one, that is him. Yeah. What is your prowess? Oh, very good. Yeah, let's give you a chance to prove yourself. All right. And these still need four days. All right, there we go. Go get them, boys. Missing persons in Göttingen. Commoners living in Göttingen stumbled upon something strange not too long ago. An entire trading caravan. Yeah, we've had this event a couple of times already. Just give the leftover supplies to some locals or sell them to whatever merchants you can find. Do that. Unworthy of attention. While I was in the castle town with Wout, his attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. Wout lifted his head and made a show of ignoring the criminals begging for water before leaving in short order. Good, he's of no concern to people like us. Okay, that is great. Uh, where are we being raided? Right here. Okay. Um... These people. Here we go. Also, I noticed that the Danes here um, are still um, in Slesvig, still uh, not feudal. So that is something we shall uh, urge them to change. But to do that, we need to reform the faith, and to reform the faith, we need to have two holy sites and we only have one in our realm so that is another reason to turn our eyes uh, northward or westward anyway the guests are gathered in the great hall lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm so many bites to choose from the mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins so welcome friends And high table breaks. The great table seating the upper nobility on the days gave a loud crack. And a moment later it gave in under the weight of food and gilded decoration. As my most distinguished guests and I had to be fitted in among the lower nobility, I ended up close to my vassal Jarl Kunrad. Jarl Kunrad of Swabia. Okay. Countess Bava took a poor day, however, and told everyone it was a grave injustice to be seated with lords and ladies barely better than commoners. Acting quite the opposite of Gori, we had displayed grace and humility among his lessons. Kunrad and I ended up talking all evening and agreed it should not be the last time we feast and laughed in each other's company. What a great night, and he becomes my friend. Raid or trade, a disorderly horde of bandits, pirates and other heavily armed scoundrels has entered Hamburg, led by Orm. Orm of Lübeck. Mm. At first my scouts thought them here to pillage, but an emissary from their chieftain claims that they would happily trade instead. Their forces rich in plunder new and old, and this would give the locals a chance to buy exotic goods. Well, trade? An unexpected offer, but highly welcome. Yeah. Look at that! Oh. I did everything I could to ensure that Empress uh, Kaliomal and Hadewein would be as far from each other as possible. It was not enough, and now they have come to blows in the middle of my feast. One of my guards is close to the brawl and looks to me for the order to intervene. Throw Hadewein and I to cool off. Yeah, she should not even dare to attack my wife, the Empress. And as my guests leave, they seem to depart in good spirits. I am relieved to see that Count Byron also uh, does not depart without saying farewell. We both know we will be seeing each other again soon. By the name of Castle, what a man! Alright. Um, what's happening here? Okay, so they are done now, right? Wait a moment. The people from Lübeck, that is the guy I'm helping. Oh, 
Uh, it's such a joy to see my grandson Roman. Is it? Ah, Oskuld. He came all the way from Kiev? Wow. Well, I am an emperor now, so yeah, grand occasion. Once again, we eat, drink and sing together as if no time has passed since we parted last. We could have been dining in a barn and this would still have been one of the greatest feasts I've ever been to. What would life be without Roman reinvigorating friendship and get a huge health boost? As the feast is on the way and our guests are eating and drinking merrily, Vic Fools approaches Calimal and me at the great table. This is a marvelous feast. All my compliments to the host. Yes, I've done a great job. Uh, Calimal deserves a household. Yeah, let's, let's be nice to my wife. And my daughter, Irmela. Well, Irmela gave birth to my daughter. Let's say that. Katrin, yes, it is a very Dutch name, but not one I like. Um. How about Kim? All right, there we go. A uh, few candles survive after the last guests have left. I can hear a pair of servers letting a sigh of relief after the doors close. Food is still warm on the ceramic plates. Soon word will reach every corner of the realm and every noble worth their soul to know that my magnificence is unparalleled. With everyone headed home, with bellies full of exotic delicacies, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. Nevertheless, I'm still grateful that the endeavor is over for now. And with that, all is done. Yeah, that was a great feast. That was a great feast. All right, um, I have another perk here. I want to go to a uh, religious icon, right? Overt faith. Yeah. In my realm. And they're still at it, so we shall go and fight them for it. Concluded my task. What task was that? Convert faith. Convert faith. Hamburg. Okay. My queen is Londo. Died in my dungeons. That's fine. Uh, Mayor Walter doesn't look so um, so good. Maybe we should replace him as well. Yes, with the other Reinhardt of Rioli. He does look good. And tall, which is always a plus when you're in politics. So yes, there we go. All right. Uh, apparently, they are trying to flee. Battle of Alborg. And Edmund has concluded his task. I was going to do increased development, but Brugge is already at 20, but I, I'm thinking uh, we can do the, um, the surrounding places or places like Aachen. Yeah. Let's do Aachen. That's still development 10. So here we are at 20 and that's currently our limit in this age. So we need to make it to the next age, the um, early medieval age, but we still need to wait five years, okay, because where is it, it probably close. Maximum existing development penalty at 20 development, so that's where we are at. And uh, we're doing mods for now. We're being exposed to legend. That's good. Yeah, I can't wait until we get to the next age. And long ships here. That is it. Um, our culture is not present in Northern Europe. We need 12 counties to be North Lams, and currently it's only two. That is why I'm so interested in vassalizing Yulat. Um, yeah, you go here too. 
And this is... That's the enemy. Okay. Yeah. This enemy county, but... Um, conquered by Yuland. That is good. Maybe we should go and attack their... Um, capital. People are studying Dutch because it's such a prestigious language now. Poetic friendship. Cool, my dear friend. I was once again reminded of your victory against Dauphin Guillem. So I tried, decided to write a poem about your triumph, Orban says, clearing his throat. Conflict and Rage, a work of poetry dedicated to Emperor Kuhn's victory over the miserable Dolphin Guillem, written by Kuhn's good friend Thorbrand. When Red Plumed War comes to his lands, it cannot have expected this firebrand. His subjects prove grateful, for if they are not, then next to their door is his sword brought. Um. I shall put on display my court, and he becomes my best friend. And this is my friend who is married to my daughter, who used to be the king of Sweden, and then he got deposed. So I'm going to help him once more. We became best friends with him. He's young, so hopefully he will survive, although he has an aggravated wound and he's a drunkard. My ward wow, has come of age, and it is time he left my care. As an active and enthusiastic child, it is no surprise that Wout has done well in his studies of war and combat. It's impressive to see such skill in someone so young. He displays a level of insight that's rare, even among veteran commanders. Until we meet again. And he got, he's 19. And yeah, his prowess is poor. Maybe we should do something about that, Wout. And he's betrothed with an Evering, okay. And I made friends with uh, Jarl Friedrich. After learning that Jarl Friedrich would be attending the dance in the village of Ormstup, really now, we're at war. Look at him. Uh, but anyway, we became friends. I guess even in the middle of war, sometimes you need to dance. Makes perfect sense. And they had the same idea. No, they didn't have the same idea. So they landed here. <laughs> and they back to the boats and they landed here again. Okay, yeah. Okay. And um, what is the supply limit here? 5,000. And we have 3,000. Okay, that's fine. We can designate a guardian for Regalinda. Okay. Uh, learning that is fine. I'll find someone for you to... But first... No. Okay. Um, ice bonds? For my spy master. Flower. Word culture. Well, let's hope that we make some good prisoners. Sebastian Oversticht has come of age. Uh, he is not... Yeah, he was... Uh, what do you mean he's not promised to anyone yet? Oh, he found himself someone who is like double his age and a drunkard. Wow, what a good choice. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there to intervene in time. And I made a fight with your auto. Good. I could designate a guardian for my grandson Kuhn. He wants to study learning. That seems fine. Coin uh, collector doesn't seem very useful. Maybe Sissel. Yeah, Italian. As we are expanding that way.
go to your uncle. Raised voices at the Tingmeet. Tingmeets are a necessary chore for any decent emperor with all the free men in the area turning up to discuss local affairs, market and jostle for this privilege or that. As to be expected with such large gatherings, they have a way of turning heated and this thing is no exception. I struggle to follow the details through all the yelling, but it seems as though men from Kales are insisting on the validity of a will that leaves them large strips of land in Ypres. And uh, the people of Kales are in the right. Ypres has my support. Are good Kalesmen going to take this from Ypres? They will tire themselves out eventually. Um, that sounds like the right thing. I mean, they are both my counties. Pause here for a moment because I need a drink. And there we are again. And I don't mean a stiff drink. I need something to. What's the word? Put liquid in my throat so I can talk. Anyway, so a soft drink. Um, and I'll control Shalant. That is fine. That is great. Um, everything's okay with the recording, it seems. So, we took them and we took this girl prisoner. Well, this young woman, I should say. The daughter of the king. Doesn't mean we have 100% war score. Hmm. Okay, I think we should chase away these guys. Inge comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. Always a clever child. Inge proved time and time again over the course of her studies that she had a natural affinity for careful planning. And more than a little misdirection. Now it is hard to say, however. Everything that is tasked of her is done by others before she gets to it, and she never tells pity lies the way she used to. Perhaps she was not as clever as she seemed after all. Or, or more than she seemed, because... She she lets others do stuff for her. They grow up fast. But I guess I have set that step of time already. Um, elusive shadow, that's great. Can we uh, pause here for a moment? Goodness. And when is Paradox gonna address this? The pause indicator gets covered with stuff. And from down here, it is not clear if we're actually paused. It, and if I remember correctly, in the early, early, early version of the game, that used to be the case. I don't know why they changed it. Okay. Uh, you are always there for me, and I hope you know that I'm grateful my word comes in. No approaches me in a rare display of honesty. Uh, that is what it means to be a guardian. And we won the war, that is great, so we can disband our troops and ask him to become our vassal in a moment. But first, these betrothed can marry, so they do. Who is this? He is a Birgit Ragnarsson of Provence, yes, a neighboring ruler. We should I'll probably ask him to become our vassal as well. Do you now want to become my vassal? We are not tribal. That's the problem? The total is a zero. If he was not tribal, or we were, then he would accept. Okay, so we need to reform the faith. What about this guy? Can I offer you my protection? Yes. That is great. Hmm. 
and is an inspired person. Okay, and France is imploding further, defending against the tyranny of King Beringer. Wow, you're a little boy, and you're brave and arrogant. Mm. And a uh, delicate constitution. I mm. know. Ah, he used that war, he wouldn't accept anyway. But yeah, how come he is still independent and Aquitaine hasn't uh, swept him up yet? Oh well. And Brittany is Catholic, that is a tragedy. But not something we shall concern ourselves with right now. We need to get back on our Italy project. Because there's still a lot of land that needs to be conquered before we can dispose of the papacy. So yeah, there's that. But we also want more, 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 more land in Scandinavia, so that we can get our ships onto major rivers. So there's two ways we can do this. We can conquer Denmark, which now is easy. They have no uh, allies. We can try Vassalas Jullot, but we need to um, uh, but they wouldn't just become feudal, even if Asato is reformed, is it? Hmm. And uh, the other thing we could do is attack Sweden. Well, if we want to reform Asato, we need to attack Sweden, because we need one of the holy sites, and all the holy sites are in there. Well, Stick Tuna here, Nidoros, oh, Nidoros is actually in uh, Alokland, but they are our allies, aren't they not? Do they want to uh, become a vassal? No, it's almost remote. Okay. But they are our allies, so Sweden has two. Stick Tuna and uh, Jorvik. Expanding here, wow. Um, oh, they completely vassalized. Um, what's his name? Of the Sudria. Hmm. All right. So, what should we do? Should we attack Sweden and take one of the holy sites? Should we wage war against Denmark and take their land? I mean, he wouldn't willingly become my vassal. Is there anything we can do here to change his opinion? I'm not his rightful liege. I'm not. You're a yarl. So, what is the kingdom? The kingdom of Denmark. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see. That's how the wind blows. Germany. Germany, Germany. Okay. It's land that we got later. After establishing the kingdom of uh, Rot Vlaanderen. Okay, okay, if that's how it is, then we shall wage war against Denmark once again and conquer them. I can invade the kingdom, but it's three kingdoms also. I can conquer the duchies, 
It will cost me the defenders of my faith. This will cost me piety. Mm. Well, leave a comment down below what you think we should do. Should we take Denmark? And that, that way gain access to uh, boats on rivers. Or should we attack Sweden because well, he divorced my daughter and then deposed um, the guy who came after him? My friend. Thorvald. I think we should attack Sweden, but uh, that will be a much bigger war, although we are stronger. They have quite a few allies. But yes. And they're involved in the war now, so they've lost some of their troops. They have a holy order. Yeah, maybe we should wait until they're done. With this war at least, so that they don't have the holy order fighting for them anymore. But yeah, let me know what you think. Should we attack Denmark or Sweden and take land from them in order to get access to boats on rivers? What? Um, yeah, I don't understand this. But to, to, to get access to long ships, this one. Right? We need... Um, oh no, we also need 40% of all North Flanders countries to, counties to be inside Northern Europe. Well, that's not gonna happen. No, no, no. Okay, forget about it. Um, forget about it. Forty percent of my cultures count is in in the north. No, that's a big project. We have uh, we have other concerns. This takes priority. Spoleto, you're up next. You're fighting against the Salamid. Uh oh. So you're helping out Salerno. Which is honorable. I mean, fighting against uh, the Muslims. That I don't have a problem with. But, um, yeah. I mean, I'm going to have to do that as well. I'm going to declare war on you. Seize all the Jure lands. Okay, so we shall seize all the Jure lands of Spoleto. Why? Ah, oh my the Jure lands. Not all of Spoleto the Jure lands. Or all of Spoleto. Uh, just do Conquer Dutch again. That gets me all the lands. Uh, here is a major river, so I don't want... Oh, there is a crossing right here. Or I could just raise my troops like here. Firenze. Florence, right? Yeah. Uh, not this one. I do that so often. Point at the wrong one. You're still the, the best commander? Ah, because of your martial skill. Order. Uh, um, I could take this one. Oh, a flexible leader, aggressive attacker. Yeah, that sounds good. and hunt in the ring showing uh, he's my friend but if I'm not leading this army I might as well go on a hunt right I mean I oh know I lost stress at the feast but he is my friend I shall go and help him anyway I mean help um yeah Him. 
Okay, we need to avoid golding, but that is easy. Um, do we need anyone with us? I don't think we need anyone with us. Cultural ambassador. Hmm, that might be a good idea. Um, customize route. After Burra, we want to go through Vile, yes. And after Ring Shipping, also. That way, we avoid this dangerous area. And there's also this dangerous area. Uh, straight between Bergenopsome and Middleburg. Yeah, that's not correct. Bergenopsome is actually here. But what do they know? Um, yeah, we could just go via Antwerp, right? And then here also. Yeah. That makes more sense. Why don't we go by boat, anyway? Except, let's go. Ah. Prisoners, we have 14 prisoners. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a young woman. Okay, she is a princess, but you can go. Yeah. You. Bit what are you doing here? No, advancing. Ah. Ah, uh, it's the Ingo. You're Christian. How did you end up here? And then betrothed to the king of Asturias. Huh. Twenty. That's quite cheap. No, no, no. Money. Okay. My friend Theo Friedrich is hosting a hunt in Ringshabing and time has come for us to depart. I look forward to getting to spend more time with him. This should be good sport if the event is properly organized. Let's see how the tribals uh, deal with that. The procession is ground to halt stone th stones throw away from teal. I look over to see my guest Olaf, dismounted and intently staring at something on the ground. The other entourage members have gathered around him. Ah, oh, this one again. Olaf looks up as I approach. My lord, there is an ant path here. I may be a tad superstitious, but you should never cross an ant path. This is nonsense. I'll take over as a guide. And I go lost. Amazing Inn. The inn we stayed at in Kloppenburg last night was a surprisingly wonderful place. I don't know what the inn or its staff did right, but something about the inn allowed most of us to sleep through the night so peacefully. This morning there are smiles on the faces of many in my entourage as we prepare to leave. What a wonderful place this was. And a wolf struggle. Our journey... And... Oh, what? She died in her sleep. She was my concubine and mother of four of my daughters. Our journey is violently interrupted by the sound of tearing flesh and gnashing jaws and the desperate cries of a man about to meet his end. The noise is so horrific it must have come from the depths of hell. Attempting to track the source we find a desperate champion struggling with a wild wolf. His blade is wedged between the beast's jaws, but his grip is beginning to falter. Ah, uh, he's pretty good. This man deserves my help. And he will be recruited. 
or help him Olaf. No, I, I, this was my help. I was mauled by a wolf. And Hendrik, Hendrik, who was that? The Craven. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. No great loss there. My acquaintance. It shouldn't say acquaintance. She wasn't my acquaintance. We shared a bed very often. Anyway, what is going on down here? Ah, oh, I see. Caretaker sent Cardinic reports that he had some kind of issue with Parano. Apparently the latter pushed the former during their games. Today, as I was watching Dietrich play with other children, he invented a new game for everyone, including Pagano, which involved pushing and had great success. Hmm, really now? You're my ward. Hmm. I don't really like you. Your big brother is a much better boy. But, okay, this is an impressive wit for such a young age. He must be taught how relationships grow. He is fit to be a jester. And this one. He obtains deeper understanding of my words. Okay. The Hermit. A grotto emerges from the vegetation like a stone arch in a cathedral. On its entry, there's a small wooden table and a stall. Someone has left a lantern burning on it. Stone arch in a cathedral. Okay. Not sure that is relevant to us, really. Careful, my liege. Really holds her arm up in front of my chest. There are bandits in these lands. You're quick to make accusations. A dimly illuminated figure stands in the entrance of the cave. I'm merely a hermit, and you must be an emperor. A hermit would be a great addition to my entourage. Um, I don't think so. How fortunate. Please tell me about my future. The hermit takes a second before replying. She gets up and waits until I follow. There's some herbs scattered around and what seems to be a rudimentary bed. She turns to me when we're away from my entourage. With an oddly deeper voice, the water shall pass, but you won't. Oh, insightful. I won't pass. I won't pass what? Of travels to come, journeying through Riva, I pass by a peculiar looking tent spread open with his yet more peculiar looking occupant as I come in. Oh my dear Emperor, I can tell you have many miles to go and I can offer you a reading of your future travels for a modest price. Strange man has piqued the interest of my entourage, but am I willing to pay for a reading? I'm not interested. It has been snowing for days now. Yeah, that happens in November up in the north. Although we're only like in Denmark, right? I don't think it snows that often in November in Denmark. But I could be wrong. The road ahead appears completely impassable. However, as I look ahead, I see a small group of people approaching us fast as the snow drifts. Soon a man stands before me and speaks with a white grin. You seem to be in quite a predicament. But fear not, for a fair price, we will help you return to your travels. Helping others is its own reward. Uh, it is a fair price, 115. We will manage on our own. Uh, we will manage on our own. And we swiftly move again. Alright, that's great. Yeah, acceptance between the North and North Vlaming has been increased by 1%. Yeah. Okay, they should just join us. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, the Arthur has started on the preparations. His gamekeepers check grasslands each day for signs of quarry while building a camp closer to the hunting grounds. I've checked my gear and horse many times. It won't be long now. Soon. Adrian assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the plains near Ringshabing. The local gamekeepers have scoured the vicinity for recent tracks and fumes. It seems a mighty heart is unquestionably in the area quarry fit for a king. Ultimately, Jalfredrik decided he wants to hunt a heart today. Let's get out. Hey, what's happening here? Oh, that's a bit of a bother. Yeah, okay.
Softly, softly. Despite our best efforts, we were unable to get close to the hard herd. They sense us each time we neared, fleeing and going to ground. It is nearly too dark to continue. We will have to admit defeat at the hands of the deer. You cannot win them all. Aunt Vales. Maybe the call of the wild is an adventure. In this how to deliver the good and the bad in abundance. The master of the hunt call gathers the appointed party and exhausts the house for the trip home. And we gain some hunting experience. That is good. How are we doing with this? I, I think... Uh, I cannot give my love away so freely. Who is this? You're lost for. Uh, I think I shall station besiegers and then send the rest over here. Success. I think Unhild would serve you well as a concubine. I'm sorry, I'll make my own choice about that. Yeah, let's go back here. Yeah, we were over the supply limit actually. Regent avoiding mandate duties. Ice bond, that's not right. And we're back at an inn this time in Zutphen, and this was a terrible inn. Okay, let's rest a few days at a better inn. We'll have to bear with it. Testa Berengario, Regent the Liberty Faction. How are you, my vassal, and you're still Catholic? Grand City of Luni. The Mount Conversion. Um, he might accept. He probably won't. Fine day like this, the weather is nice, parts of Antwerp look great, and the local livestock are positively jumping and cheering in their own guttural manner. Well, it's April now. Cows are walking next to their mothers, their fur shiny and clean. Overall, the place is very competently run, although I do notice a couple of oddities that I would manage a bit differently. A local patriarch approaches me. A fine morning to you, my lord. Are these beauties not a sight to behold? I could apply some of this back home. Improve pastures. Yes. Oh. Hmm. He found the, the pressure overwhelming, right? He knew that he would be relieved from his office otherwise. At long last, I'm finally home. There's nothing better than arriving back in Brugge after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time. The call of the road beckons ever onward. My caravan master ruling approached that we have journeyed for 221 days and traversed 47 baronies. My cultural ambassador had a chance to spread acceptance for the North Lambs. Okay. And Yao Otto. His education has come to an end. He always had a way with words. It's therefore unsurprising that he has taken well to the study of diplomacy. True silver tongue. He's a great eminence now. He only got compassionate. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is something in the vanilla game that changed or if it is one of my mods that means they end up with only one or two traits often and not with the standard three. I should investigate. Or if anyone knows, leave a comment. On her own, my ward is going to be a fully grown adult soon and her personality slowly taking final form with previous experiences 
not decisive enough to push her to various extremes, the posse links to grains in the matter. Nothing comes from nothing. Yeah, that's right. Well, arrogant and stubborn. <laughs> I know enough people like that. And for a 15-year-old girl, that's not unheard of. Uh, who can get married? Bout and Bodil. Bodil finding came of age matrilineally. Oh. And what is this? Metalsmith armor inspiration. We should probably get them both to start working on their inspiration. Legendary. Oh yeah. Okay. Easy communication. I've been awaiting your very latest letter for a long time, but nothing has arrived. I've sent missives of my own to no response. The inevitable conclusion seems to be that he no longer considers me a friend worthy of time and attention. I'm one of the few who would answer it in your time of need. Yeah, I did. He's no longer my friend. You now control Casatino. Yeah, that is nice. He's no longer my friend. I came to your help. And I betrothed my son Zeher to your daughter Theory. Maybe I should rethink that? Is that what you want? Okay, what do we have here? A feline hunter, me or wolf? Endurance. I think I found a reason why some days are more rat free than others, my vessel, me. Arnold happily declares as he moves aside to reveal a servant holding a very displeased cat. It wriggles in an attempt to free itself from the scratch up arms of the servant, meowing in a rather endearing fashion. I'd say this is one successful rat hunter. In fact, it was in the middle of a wrestling match with a fat one when we found it. What say you? Should we adopt this cat? I'd love a feline companion, most definitely, yes. Cats are very good at hunting rats. And I have an item, right? Uh, what is the new item? This. But I don't think we can display it. Oh, we can. Alright. Yeah, because most of these are for... Yeah, these two are already displayed. That's already displayed. And we don't have any small. Well, we do have, but this is already displayed on the side wall. Okay. And her education is at the end. Wow. Mind is touched. That is great. A motto for the ages. I can hear my beneficiary, Yahalem, muttering to himself from across the hall. I need something great, something epic to make my creation stand out from the uninspired masses, but what? Just what? Then his spirited eyes meet mine. He breaks out into a huge smile and waves it. My lord, what an amazing idea. Just perfect. What do you think of adding your family's motto to your commission? Uh, you are making... what was it? Armor for me? Uh, sure, that sounds lovely. And the cats, the cat, paws, mittens. No, I want these to merge and go beat their asses. No. 
here. Back to Lonigo. 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 Yes. And my son learns the Anglic language. Okay. Um. With the limit here, we're under the limit. Friendly words. Okay. This again. You never learn. Eh? We will beat you and continue to beat you until morale improves. Uh, Marvin insists that the funds I have supplied with her are not enough to create an artifact worthy of my stature. 50 more. Well, we can definitely afford that. Charlemagne's legacy. Charlemagne is a major presence here in Aachen. His legacy is everywhere, and many whisper his name in awe. Even I must compare myself to him. What side of him do I wish to emulate most? Mighty conquest of his enemies. His deep devotion or his dedication to learning and the arts? I think his dedication to learning and the arts for now is uh, like a good force. And finally we're done. We took our foe Prince Lambert hostage. And with that we can enforce our demands and conquer more of Italy. Disband my troops. And I shall need to give these lands to some of my vassals, although I'm not over the limit this time. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you again in the next episode.